man. This is live. Anything can happen. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. And what if you fuck up? Man, this is live. Anything can happen. I'd be pissed scared I'd get a boner or fucking fart or something. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Shut the fuck up, man. You're making me nervous. Welcome back to the Joke Room, everybody. I do that every damn time, don't I? Do oh, go. This is where we're gonna celebrate the twentieth, twenty thousand subs. I hope you can hear me now. Thank you for letting me know in the chat. I do that every time. I mute it during the opening. That way you won't hear me moving around, getting all ready and shit. I don't know why this Streamlabs does that. It should cut the sound when I'm on another tab. Okay, we're back now. Twenty thousand subs. Sorry about that. We are gonna give away this shirt, of course, right here. One of a kind. Look at this. That junk man got 20,000 subs and all I got was a free t-shirt. We're going to give this away. One of a kind. Only way you can get it is right here. Uh, tonight. There's only way you're going to be able to win this one is during this chat. Now, we've already gave away a lot. Uh, a lot. Whoa, I'm moving there. Hold on. Um, we already gave away one shirt to the chat room. Someone in the chat room. I haven't looked at my email yet, but someone in the chat room has already won a shirt. Not that one right there, of course. Because that's going to be an exclusive shirt. And thanks to the good guys over at Rogue Toys, we're going to give away a loose Death Star in a few minutes. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to drag it out some. We're giving away a Death Star. Now, if you're just now watching this live stream later and you're thinking, oh, man, I got to, when is it going to say it? When is it going to tell us how? Don't worry. I'm going to do a separate video, too. But if you're in the chat room live, you get first chance at it. Oh, we got a. We got a super chat already, and I saw someone, I didn't see who it was when I was getting ready, someone said they upped their membership. Man, that means a lot, guys. I mean, 20,000 subs, if I have just a 1,000 of those 20,000, donate $1, I know I could go full-time with this stuff then, right? Probably so. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying I feel bad like I'm bragging for money, I'm just saying $1, you know, well, $2, because, you know, Patreon and YouTube takes their cut, but... I'm just saying, if you like the content, hey, subscribe to the channel. Get some exclusive content. And YouTube's really bad at showing me who the members are. I have to go look and see. Uh, so I'm going to do more for them. They just make it a little hard sometimes. I do a lot. I do more for Patreon, but I'm going to start focusing more on the membership side of stuff now that we got a good role going on memberships. Because there for a while, you know, I had like six members. And although I want to do something special for them, it was hard to edit and make a whole video for six people when... 
before when we'd watch it. But now that we got a roll of memberships and everything, it's starting to pick up steam. I'm going to do a lot more for the members there. Uh, commentary, we do that. We do outtakes and stuff like that. Maybe an exclusive video series. Haven't decided yet. But we got a super chat from Bradley. See, Brad was here earlier, and Bradley, I get them mixed up. They're doing that to me on purpose. And he's going to get himself a uh, random soundboard. Let's go. He plays cards with J.D. Shellnut. Oh, man. So who we got in the room today? We got some new names I haven't seen yet. Someone's making noise outside. Sorry about that. We got The Worst. He's got a picture of Bat Boy. I like that. We got Mark. We got Scott. We got Dean. We got Juan. Juan's always here. We got Joe. We got Chris. Of course, we got Bradley. Who else have I missed here? Scott. Someone is out there being loud in the junkyard. What is up with that? Being loud in the junkyard. Don't like that. Don't like that. But 20,000 subs. Can you believe it? Now, we don't really have anything to go over much here. Um, it's kind of just a free form night. We're just going to celebrate. We're going to talk. Answer chats. Again, super chats to make sure I see them and everything. I'm scared to play any sounds. If you don't know, i got a new morning show I'm doing called Pop Culture in the Morning. I'm doing that now since work told me not to come back so fuck, do y'all hear that you know who out there's making that racket i hear a ruckus out there no i can't describe the ruckus it sounds like someone trying to start a car with no fan belt anyway what was i to see they didn't mess me all up now what i was talking about congratulations tell them to get off your lawn i need to go get off my lawn oh, you need to watch you need to watch a bear for your yard you need a watch. Oh, a watch bear. I can't. I can't read. Oh, we got another super chat from Matt Dino. Matt Dino's coming in. Amy and Boyd. Did I win the Death Star? Congratulations on twenty thousand. No, but I've got ten questions coming up, and you got to be a fan of the channel. I'm not giving this to anybody. Most of these questions, eight of them, is probably all about the channel. Two of them's probably not, and you don't have to answer all ten. Uh, well, I'm going to take whoever answers all ten gets to the top of the list for sure, but. If, you know, if you guys answer, send me the messages or send me the answers and it's not all 10 right, you still got a chance to win. So, uh, Matt, Matt Dino, do you want to, Matt Dino's just earned himself a super a soundboard, random soundboard. Here it goes. Let's give him Jay. Over there, that yes, that's the guy that found the airheads right there. So, that, who was out there making that damn noise? You know, it's almost late to this to this chat and the live stream because I was playing Miss Pac-Man over here. And I finally, I can't get past, okay, I got to the banana while even losing a life. And I can't get past that third board. You know, that third board, I think you have to solve it four times to get to the next one. I don't know why I keep getting stumped on that. It's crazy. Uh, your pronouns, my pronouns are junk and man. That's my pronouns right there. The answer is Star Wars. I'm ready for some, some Jumpman trivia. We're going to get to that later in the show. We're doing about an hour, so it's probably going to be a while before we get to it. And it's probably going to be, you know, you might want to take, you know, you probably, I'm going to read them out, but on the next video that I'm going to upload, I'm going to actually cut and paste them into the description below box. That way you can see them. But this gives you, if you're watching the live stream, you get a little heads up to maybe think about the answers here. So, uh. Bradley Good. He is a monitor here. The watch bear was from an episode of Sanford and Son when TC was Magnum. Was, I remember when TC was on that. That's when he took over as Lamont got mad and left and went to his work for some other junk dealer. And then TC. No, that wasn't TC. That was another guy. But I remember TC being on, on that episode. Okay. We got a lot of people in here tonight. How many we got going? We got 88 people. God, today, anyway, I was telling you about the pop culture show. We're doing 11 o'clock a.m. in the morning, pop culture in the morning. We go over news, movie news, toy news, ow, toy news. And then we do a topic. Today we did Indiana Jones. I looked at all the trailers and the toys. And then YouTube cut me off while we were watching the uh, Last Crusade trailer. Now, I muted it. That way, you know, I was thinking I was safe. But nope, got cut off. So that stream... About 53 minutes in of an hour, got cut off. So at least they wait till it was almost over. Okay, guys, give me some. You might give away some answers on the chat room. You might want to save that for yourself later. Where is where is Candace? Candace, she's always here. Where is Ashley? Ashley's always here. What's going on? Where is okay? We can here. So anyway, 
We started started this thing back in the junk room. Remember when I was in the junk closet? For all you guys have been here a while, started in a closet. Well, actually, I started doing a character called Jonas Grumpy. Jonas Grumpy, which was actually the name of the... Uh, the name of the skipper on Gilligan's Island, where I would do unboxing videos. I did two of them where I was real nervous, and I was like, Ugh, and I was all crazy. I would get all kinds of comments like, hey, man, calm down, man, it's cool. That was just a character I was doing, but then I turned it in. You know, I started the YouTube channel right by the time Force Awakens came out. Then I was just putting up clips from Force Awakens, uh, TV spots, interviews, and stuff. Slowly built that. I did... Uh, Jonas Grumpy character, but then I did my own character. We looked at the forearm. I remember the forearm Zuckus mix up and stuff like that. Back when I was in the closet, y'all remember that? I was in the closet, and I remember one time I got like a hundred views, and I thought, man, I am the greatest on YouTube. I could not believe I had a hundred, and here I am now. Now I'll see a video, a video get eight hundred, which isn't a lot, and I'll be all pissed off and like, why didn't this one do good? Because always see like the videos I think is gonna do good don't. But I was like, there was a time with 800, I would have been ecstatic for 800. Pop, 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 coach you in the morning with the with your host, Papa, Papa Fett says that. Yeah, I need somebody to give me a stinger, like, you're listening to Pop Culture in the morning. You know, something like you were here on Oh, T for Two is here, the Terminator himself. Check out T for Two's channel, The Terminator Show. We need to have him on. I need to start trying to bring more guests. Now, I did guests with some Kenner guests and some, you know, people that worked at Kenner. Those videos don't do well. Whenever I do interviews, they don't do well. I reached out to, uh, well, first I reached out to Stan Sweet, Steven Stan Sweet, to get him on the live stream, but they turned me down, and I hadn't heard back, but I, which I probably won't. I tried to get Bruce Valanche on here. You remember Bruce Valanche from Hollywood Squares? Anyway, he was one of the guys that wrote the holiday special, so I, tried, I was like, that would be an awesome guest, someone that was actually there on the set of the holiday special, man. I bet he's got some stories, but... Uh, I haven't heard. I doubt I'll hear back from that one. And Stanley, Steven Stanley Week turned me down. Too busy or something. So I don't know. Maybe one day. I've asked him twice. I've got turned down. Well, I don't know if he's turning me down. Or his contact people are turning me down. Okay. Bring back Lumpy Baca. Lumpy Baca. People want to see Lumpy Baca again. I retired Lumpy Baca. I think every once in a while his voice shows up. He's got the same voice as Larry the Wampa. I don't know if you remember going back to... Yeah, Bruce Valance. Somebody laughed at that. He would be a funny character to have on here. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, Larry Baca used to have the deep voice. And Lumpy had the high voice. But then I brought in Gangster Chewbacca, which needed a deep voice. So I couldn't have deep I had So I had to change the voice. Because I'm the one doing all the voices. Secret to the junk room. I'm doing the voices here, right? Uh, what we at? We're at 102 people tonight. I can't believe it. This might be one of the records here. And everybody's like, hey, give away that Death Star. Give away that Death Star. We're, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. You know, I got to milk it out some. And I want to thank you all for the subs and everything. Really does me a lot. Holy crap. Bruce would be crazy. Yeah, wouldn't you love, wouldn't it be great to have Bruce Valanche here to tell us about writing and being on the set of the holiday special? Whew, that would be crazy. We got Raw Solo. He gave us a super chat. Welcome, Junkyard Dogs. Welcome, Raw Solo. Let's give him a good one. Let's give him... Number three. No, we already done JG, JD Cell Nut. We already did him. Okay, here's your random soundboard. I know that, dude. Okay, I know that, dude. I got to get some more sounds on this thing. Uh huh. You ain't got no Death Star. That's right. I ain't. Well, I do got a Death Star over there, but I'm not giving away a Death Star. The good guys over at Rogue Toys. Check them out. Las Vegas, Nevada. I think they're also in Portland. Somebody told me today. But if you. Ha that car's still out. Hey, dude, that car's not going to start. Give it up. It's been out there. It sounds like it don't even have an engine in it. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Valanche was in Ice Pirates. I don't remember that. I haven't seen Ice Pirates in a long, long time. But I'm also thinking I'm going to give away a junk box. I'm going to take a box, get some stuff I have around here, pack it up, put it in a box, and send it to one of you guys. So I think we're going to give away a junk box. We're going to give away another shirt. We're going to give away the exclusive one deal shirt. The one, I mean, the exclusive shirt. And, of course, the Death Star playset coming back up soon. Uh, you need you need, you need need blue milk to give away the Death Yeah, somebody's going to bring me some blue milk before I give away. Hey, Jumpman, the big one's coming. Oh, Elizabeth Lamont, Lamont Star. Oh, there's Jedi right there. He's got the little uh, blue snaggletooth heads. He's got the Fred Sanford head. I got, I got to add more icons for you guys. Uh, let me know what kind of icons you want. 
Bring about Marquise. Somebody remembers Marquise? We try not to talk about Marquise, that character. We try not to talk about that. That was just too much right there. Uh, and I want to get a puppet. That's another thing. I've been wanting to get a puppet for the show. Something I can... I need somebody to make my own puppet. That way I can put on a shirt and everything. And have a little puppet over here. I looked at a puppet that looked kind of like me and the guy. And there was a website wanted $500 for it. So I ain't paying that. But let's see. I'm getting super chats to make sure I see them. I'll glance over here and get some every now and then. But we want to make sure we get super chats. But let's talk Star Wars, guys. Look at this. Who didn't love Star Wars? This was the internet back in the day. You're right, guys. This was our internet. This was our movie news. This was our Mike Zero. This was our Doomcock. This was our Inverted Penis. This was every all the news right here. This Collider. I can't think of any more news sites. Ain't it cool news? When's the last time somebody said, hey, did you hear the news? I saw it on Ain't It Cool News. I haven't heard anyone say anything about that in about 50 years. Um, Larry Wampa, animated Jumpman face icon. There you go. Can you do animated icons? Uh, Vintage Star Wars. This is 1987 right here. 10th anniversary of Star Wars. It used to hang on a wall back here. Right above uh, Alien Todd. But now I've got a picture taken by the Greek. But i got a picture stuck in his name now. But let's just see. Look at this. Oh God, don't rip it. Don't rip it. Don't rip it. Look at this. It goes into all about the Star Wars, the early scripts. Really good. Probably this information most of you guys know, but this this magazine is actually online. You can actually read it. It's got a lot. A lot of times people say, hey, Jumpman, where'd you get all that for your video? Where'd you come up with that? It starts here. I find stuff in this issue sometime, and I write about it. The whole Star Wars Marvel comics got a whole big write-up about it. I did a whole story on it. Uh, and look here, guys. Blake 7. Blake, that's how I found out about Blake 7. I didn't know what Blake 7 was. I saw it in Starlog Magazine. Then I found out it was on PBS at 11 o'clock Sunday nights. Oh, whew. Like I, yeah, me and Trickyard's got to do something about oh, I got to do something about Blake 7. Especially now doing these live streams. Two times a week. We got 11, 11 a.m. The Pop Culture Show. And then at 7 p.m. We got, well, we got Star Wars Monday. Tuesday's probably going to be Toys Tuesday. I don't know what I call it. Toy Talk Tuesday, Wednesday, probably free day, whatever, Thursday. Hey, like I said, my job told me not to come back, so I'm going to make the best of it can. And yes, I got the mic in the way here. Uh, Fangora. Yeah, remember Fangora? It's being published. Does anybody buy magazines? I see magazines at the store. I'm like, who buys magazines anymore? What's up with that? Who buys magazines? OMG. This guy said, OMG, Blake 7. Who said that? Madden Hell? I love Blake 7, and I think I'm going to get with somebody and do a review of each episode where we review the episodes i want to find somebody that's never seen blake seven so i can get my take on it from watching them over and over again and then somebody's take being fresh to it enjoy the show and the channel junk man mark said keep up the good work thank you so much and thank you for joining us here um in fact let's uh i'm gonna give away a shirt i'm gonna give away a shirt let me ch this is not the exclusive one-of-a-kind shirt i'm just gonna give away a shirt to a random person here uh, so let's see here. Star Wars Insider. This guy says, uh, Sub-Zero. That car is still out there. Do y'all even hear it? Dude, dude, that car is not going to start. You might as well just call the general, man, because it ain't going to start. I used to love Blake. You don't used to love Blake 7. You love Blake 7. You hadn't watched it in a while, but you still love it. Once you love Blake 7, you always do. Blake 7, Doctor Who, Red Drawer for Back to Back here. Awesome. I never watched Red Dwarf. I heard a lot of good things about it. Never heard, Joe's never heard of Blake 7. It's free on YouTube. Check it out. Science fiction show. Looks horrible. But let me tell you the just the gist of it. You got all these groups. You got seven people. One's a freedom fighter guy, the leader. You got a locksmith. You got a, well, alcoholic locksmith. You got a computer expert, even. You got a weapons expert. And they all escape from the Federation. And they're just hanging out with a freedom fighter, helping them fight the Federation. Just so they don't have to go to jail. But anyway, that's that's a short version of it. A free shirt. That's right. We're giving away a free shirt that you will get to go to Junkman uh, and pick out yourself which one you want. So, how am I going to do this? I should have thought ahead of time, right, guys? I should have thought ahead of time something good. Because I don't know how to ask the question and make sure the right one answers it. Uh, so, let's do that. We'll do a trivia question about the show. Uh, let me think of something. I'll do a trivia question about some of the shows here. 
Um, we'll do something from, uh, hmm. Give away your Lego, give away your Lego R2-D2 away in an ultimate giveaway. I love, I won that R2 at Target. I love that. I'm not giving it away. Jumpman, how about an episode talking about the influence Star Wars RPG had on the Star Wars community? I'll have to look into that. I don't really know much about that. Uh, Red Dwarf is a parody of all of these. Just heads up. Oh, sounds really good, though. I've heard good things about it. Blake 7 sounds like Science Fiction 18. Yeah, in a way, I guess you could see that. Mm. I wonder if he lives next door to Scott Kilmer. Oh, look at this. Did that. Here goes. Now, I did a show, didn't last long, called, uh, I don't forget what I called it. What I called it, the, uh, where I did the news, not the action figure show. This is where I just did toy news. Each week, I think it was every Friday, and when I'm doing the news, I would pick on, don't say it in the chat room. Don't say it in the chat room. I used to pick on one famous actor from the 80s. You email me that name of that person, the first one that actually gets it right, it emails me at junkman at thatjunkman.com, the first one in the U.S. I can't pay shipping, sorry. And the first in the U.S., you uh, you head it over there, okay? First one, remember? An actor from the 80s that I would pick on on every episode when I did my news. That's, that's a hard one there because that news only got like 300 views, so I quit doing it. But I really loved doing that news. It was kind of like a Saturday Night Live news skit. Hard to write. Took forever to write. Oh, man. Uh, speaking of shirts, you can get this one right here. Look at this. You can get this cruising down the street in my 6 full. You got I, uh, not Ice Cube. You got Easy e riding around his Nintendo 64. Whew, hope Nintendo doesn't see that. They might pull it off. Uh, hello from Cartersville, Georgia. Where is Cartersville? I know, I know a lot of Georgia. But I, can, I can't think of that. Because I'm, I'm here, too. Um... Okay, again, Junkman at thatjunkman.com. First one to tell me the 80s actor that I picked on almost every episode of the news. Uh, let me know who that was, and I'll, and then you'll be able to pick out a shirt. Again, I meant to say this earlier, the Death Star, the, the Death Star shirts and everything is going to be local. I can't be shipping to, to, uh, overseas. I'm almost in Nebraska. It seems like it's overseas. Uh, hey, oh, man. So, I can't be shipping to Belgium and stuff. Sorry about that. Uh, did I see Kansas? Kansas? I didn't see. I thought I did. Again, guys, super chat and make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's just do... I just want to do a soundboard just for the hell of it. Sportos, motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, waste toys, dweebies, dickheads. They, they all adore him. They, they think he's a righteous dude. dude. Okay, but we're going to give away the exclusive shirt. Let's take another look at it. Look how beautiful this looks. Look how beautiful... I, Beautiful. Look, you can walk around with this shirt and people won't know what the hell you're talking about. That jump man got 20,000 subs and all I got was a free t-shirt. As you can see, it's got four rare Star Wars figures on it. You got the jaw with the vinyl cape. You got, uh, who is that? Yak face. You got the guy from droids. I can't never pronounce his name right. And you got a blue snaggle tooth. So that's pretty cool. We're going to give that away soon. And thanks to the guys over at Rogue. Have you been to Rogue? To now, you think, who is Rogue Toys? That sounds familiar. You ever watch Pawn Stars, you know, the show? Whenever they have an expert come on in there, come on in there. When they have an expert come in there to talk, you know, what's this toy and everything? It's usually the guy from Rogue Toys. Ow! It's the guy from Rogue Toys. Man, let me tell you about Rogue Toys real quick. Um, can you, they get new merch, they get new stuff every day. Every day they got new inventory. I can't believe it. I don't know anybody that gets new inventory every day. Uh, they get if you order anything over fifty dollars, you get free shipping. Free shipping if it's over fifty dollars. And they have a thing called the um, Rogue Credit, where you can earn a fifty dollar gift card. You can earn you earn a fifty dollar gift card. Whew, so check out. So check that out. Jumpman at thatjumpman.com is my email. Yeah, Google. I'll put a link in the description when I get done with this video also for Rogue Toys out of Las Vegas. If you're in or near Las Vegas, check it out. I, My goal, my, one of my high goals for this channel is when I get on up there and everything and I can do it, is to go out, out of the junk room. I would love to, you know, check out some toy, show, uh, toy, toy stores like the Dallas Vintage Toy Store. Do a video there. Rogue Toys in Vegas. God damn, that man is still trying to start his car out there. I'll take the camera and go down there and interview him. Yeah, okay, yeah, you, Joe does hear the car, doesn't he? Oh, my God. Dude, give it up, dude. Dude, it's not going to start. It don't even sound like there's a fan belt or anything in it. 
Oh man, what is this? Somebody. Oh, I'm getting. All, I was. I was getting a lot. My phone was buzzing, and I realized I was getting a lot of emails from them uh, from that trivia question. Okay, so it looks like some people. Jeremy Museum. Remember Jeremy? I went to see the collector show. I need to go back and check out his now that I got a better camera and everything. Uh, we have a new store in Georgia. Now I'm in Georgia. Where's it at? Let me know. Do you know Boba Fett actor? Uh, oh, did you know Boba Fett actor? The late Jeremy Bullock was born in UK. The same country where Pal Toys made the Star Wars figure. I did not know that. I thought he was American. I did not know that. The battery will die soon. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Oh, uh, okay. We got no. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got. Oh, we got Anthony has joined the junkyard crew. Way to go, Anthony! Thank you for joining. I've got to give you. I'm gonna give you for joining the crew. I'm gonna give you two soundboards. My son's a homosexual, and I love him. Over there, man. Oh, we've already done that one. Here you go. Where's it at? Okay, here, here you go. We don't got no goddamn band. I hate this one. We don't need a fucking practice, Randy. Randy. We don't need a good ass man to need it. <sighs> you motherfuckers. Mm. Y'all just a bunch of losers. I'm the only one saying son of a bitch here. Okay. Just get the fuck out of my house now. Okay. Whew. Who picked that one? Oh, man. So we got, I think I saw another Super Chat come up. Burnt my mac and cheese. Matt, burn his mac and cheese. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Oh, burnt mac and cheese is pretty good. Yeah. So, I don't know about that. I love my dead gay son. My son's a homosexual, and I love him. Okay, 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 calm down. Thank you, Matt, for the Super Chat. Thank you, Anthony, for joining the channel. Junkman, when you gonna give away that Death Star playset from Rogue Toys? Check out RogueToys.com. New merchandise, new inventory every day. Can you believe it? I can't believe it either. But we're gonna give it away. We're gonna give it away in a little bit here. You're like, quit talking. Just give it away. Give it away now. Give it away now. Give it away. Why is my me? Oh, 15. 15 of you sent in an answer. I will check that later to see who, who won. And we're gonna give away the shirt. We're gonna give away the exclusive shirt in a few minutes. 20... 30 minutes in, we're going to give away the exclusive shirt. And we're going to, maybe a mug. Maybe a mug will be good. Here, I got, see, I got the Star World mug. That's, that's what I'm going to do right now. Star World mug. Star World. Um, tell me what Star World is from. Email me. First one to email me at junkman at thatjunkman.com. I will get you a Star World mug. You're probably like, I don't want that shit. Look at it. I'll give you any of the mugs. Pick out any mug you want, and I will give you a mug. But you got to tell me Star World. What is Star World? Where does this come from? What's this image from? Do you know? Don't say it in the chat if you know. Let me know. Let me know what Star World is and what it comes from, and we will do that. We also got this mug right here. Look at this one here. The Creature Cantina mug. I like this one right here. I don't sell many of my mugs. I sell a lot of shirts. I don't sell many mugs. But look, I like that shirt. I do. And then we got this right here. Oh, my God. Of course, we got the action figure show. The action figure show. Um, no one bought any of the action figure show merchandise. What happened to the action figure show Friday nights? What happened? It used to come on every Friday night, man. It was like a late night talk show. But I'm going to probably just change it into a live stream every Friday night or something. I haven't decided yet. It's just on hiatus. The action figure show will return. Just probably retooled a little bit. That's a cool mug, says uh, Lover to Read. Lover to Read. Okay. Uh, Greg says, sorry I'm late to the party. It's okay. You're here. You're here. It's time to get that party started. There's no such thing as being late. Not necessary Star Wars news. He knew. Okay. Hey. Man, not ne I even forgot the name of my own show. Not necessarily the news. He's right about that. Let's check over some live streams. Uh, let's check it. There's a guy named Drunk 3PO. He's always talking bullshit about how Disney's bad. And Kennedy's getting fired, maybe, or something. Let's jump over to his, his and see what he's talking about over there. Uh -huh, uh, junk Man, what's up, dude? <laughs> what up, I Junk Man? I saw you got suspended. My favorite troll. <laughs> uh, junk Man used to love to give drunk hell on Twitter, but suspended now. I know, I know. No idea why, but it was fun. Here is $5. Share it. You know, if you go to one of the junk men, he, man, he trolls all my friends on his live stream. I remember that guy. I he remember dresses him. up like Goon Pocket and makes fun of Doom. He got a YouTube channel? 
Yeah, he talks about uh, Star Wars toys, things like that. But he was just as mad when they got rid of uh, Gina Carano as all of us. Um, but yeah, hey, bro, thanks for stopping by, move. man. Appreciate it. No, he used to, he used to, I would tweet anything, he would troll the hell out of me. Uh, and one time I blocked him, and he started calling me the P word, you know, the bad word. Like he was like, oh, he's such, he can't handle me. And I was like, no, I, I remember him. But That's thanks tough. for stopping by, brother. Appreciate the $5. Uh, I got something. For- <laughs> I got something for that uh it's five dollars. Oh, I didn't mean to cut it off, yo. Junk man channel be popping though. Junk man channel be popping though. Let's see. Hey, Junk man channel popping though. It is. Junk man channel's popping. Let's go back over here just for a second here. I can't uh-huh, junk man, what's up? Check this out. <laughs> what up, I junk saw man? you got suspended. Okay, they don't have my no, favorite they don't troll. What the uh, okay. Junk man used they're to like, love to hell give drunk this guy hell on Twitter, but suspended. Now. I know, I know, <laughs> no idea they, why, they but it was you know, fun. Like Here is five dollars share. It. Now, you know, uh, junk three pos over there. He's laughing. If you go to one of the junk man, like hat or something. Uh, he man, he the, trolls uh, all my friends on his live. I don't know what it says. Hey, I remember that guy. He remember dresses remember up him. like Goonpock <laughs> and makes hey, fun of the topic. I want to talk about. He got a YouTube channel. I don't yeah, he talks about, about uh, Star Wars toys, no, things like that. But he was just as mad when they got rid of uh, Gina Carano as all of us. I don't want to talk um, about him. But yeah, okay. hey, bro, thanks for stopping by. That's what they're, didn't they, they, you could tell they're disgusted. They either, they didn't know who the hell I was and they didn't want to know who I was. They didn't know, they want to know why they were two hot girls in a live stream with geeks and no one was talking to them. They couldn't understand it. Okay. Now all about you ladies. Uh, T for two. Loud noises. What happened to action figure of the week? What happened to the action figure of the week? Action figure of the week, it got like 200 views. And honestly... This is my problem, guys. This is my problem with the action figure show. I get all excited about doing something, and then after I do about five of them, I feel like, ugh. When and where I feel like I'm just, ugh, I gotta make that, then I was like, okay, that's not fair to you guys. It ain't fair to me, guys. Me, guys. Did I say me, guys? Yeah, I did. Jumpman is a troll, and we reported by Doomcock. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be, wouldn't that be great to find out? I would love to find out why my Twitter got canceled or suspended. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, it would just make a funny video. That's the way I look at it. Turn it into gold, right? Do you like Star Wars or just all the action figures? I like Star Wars and the action figures. I like Star Wars and everything. Um, okay, the exclusive shirt. Let's take one more look at this exclusive shirt. Because I can't believe how cool it is. That junk man got 20,000 subs. And all I got was a free t-shirt. Let's give that away. Are you ready? Are you ready to give this shirt away? One of a kind. You can't buy this. Once this is given away tonight, it's gone forever. So, we're going to give it away. I got to think of a good tri- trivia question to give this one away. I wish I could give it to those two girls on uh, Drunk Man's chat. They look like they would like it. But I can't give it away because we only have one. Uh, action figure of the month. Action figure of the week was great. It was. I always like to try to spice it up. That's what I like doing. You know, one time we went out in the woods hunting for Biff Fortuna. So, that was always, always really good. Um... Now, how am I going to give away this shirt? Let me think of a question here. Let me think of a question here to give away this shirt. Uh, you guys talk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this where I get a question out real quick. Ain't that creepy? That's some creepy shit. Okay, we're gonna give we're gonna give you a trivia question here. We're gonna give you, and it's for people that did watch the action figure show, but it has appeared on other things, other things also. You have to email me first one to email me at junkman at thatjunkman.com, junkman at thatjunkman.com, junkman at thatjunkman.com. First one to send me an email over there is gonna win the free, the one of a kind exclusive shirt. You have to tell me all. Three co-hosts of the Action Figure Show that would, all four, sorry, all four Action Figure co-hosts that would come in time to time. Of course, and one of them you probably know, but there's four of them that would pop into the show every now and then. And you have to tell me who all four of them was for the Action Figure Show. Because I want to make sure whoever wins these prizes are someone that watched my channels. Not just some pop dope that just came on in right now. Oh my God! I would give this guy a shirt if he just fucking... 
Turn his car off. My good lord, this guy loves his car. It's not going to start, dude. Dude, it's been an hour. It's not going to start. Um, retro Blasting is a great channel. Toy Pablo. Never watched Toy. I know who he is. I've seen him, but I never watched Analog Toys. Never watched. I don't watch many toy videos. Uh, Usual Mike's pretty good. I watched a couple of his. Limited Edition General Medine. Yeah, I remember the... My, I don't know how long you guys been coming here. My uh, green screen test video. General Medine, Metal Dream, General Medine, General Medine. That probably got on a lot of people's nerves right there. Uh, no clue. I'm new. Harry, sorry you're new. That's okay. Hey, you're here now. Man, don't worry. You're, maybe you'll still be here when we hit 30,000. We'll give away something else. And then you'll be able to know. Uh, I might start. Uh, Jenner Customs Toy. Says, hey, junk man. Hey to you also. Uh, hello. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, where are the white women at? That's what I've been asking. That's what I've been asking. I've been asking that on Tinder all day. Uh, throw a shoe at the car guy. I need to. The guy's out there trying to start his car. Why don't you just come over here? Be a co-host. Have you ever found the hockey mask Ninja Turtle figure? And if so, how rare is he? I don't even know what that is. I don't know much about Ninja Turtles. I didn't. I know I've seen a man in a hockey mask. I didn't know that was rare. I have to look into that. I did a new video today. If you hadn't seen the video, episode 14 of the series, Failed Movie Toy Lines. Well, failed action figures based on movies or something like that. I looked at the Lost in Space movie. Remember Lost in Space, the movie? You looked at those figures. That didn't do well. And that's a series I really like doing. That's a series I hadn't got tired of yet because I do it about once a month. And that's where we look at an action figure line based on a movie where the action figure line tanked. The movie might have did good, but the action figures warranted just one release. Okay. He is saddling. That's saddles. That's funny. Casey Jones. Again, super chats to make sure I see him. And hey, Indiana Jones might even read one. You never really know there. Oh, those women too fast. Can't even keep up here. Where's those white women at with the cute tootsie toes? Man, where's those women at with their cute tootsie toes? I, I don't know, man. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping, though. That is true. Jumpman Channel is popping. Popping, though, it is. I love the robot from Lost in Space movie. That robot was pretty co uh, cool. You know, I, they actually did some toys and stuff from the original, at the same time, released from the TV show. And they did a Jupiter One based on the television show. I like to have that. I, I saw it when I was doing the research for the video, and I was like, that would look cool sitting up here. I have to look to see if that thing's, you know, how that, how much that thing is. But I guess I'm going to have to wait. Now that work told me not to come back. I hope you do. You popped up. I uh, hope, though, you had popped up. My... Can't even read that. My son loved hearing that. He was all day. He was like, "Jump in channel, be popping though." <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I need. I don't even know that guy knows I use his sound bite. <sighs> Whenever you take the notion to, I don't need to put you out none. Okay, we're gonna give away a Death Star playset in a few minutes here, guys. You're gonna be excited. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna give it away. Probably what time? We're we're 40 minutes in, so we're gonna give it away very very soon. The guys over at Road Toys. Did you know that Road Toys gets new inventory every single day at Road, Road Toys? And if you order over fifty dollars, you get free shipping. You could buy something for fifty one dollars and it's free shipping. How about that? Or you could buy you know not only that you can earn a gift card up to fifty a fifty dollars gift card if you join their uh, gift card program. Man, this, I'm. I tell you, when I get done with this live stream, I'm going to Rogue Toys to see what they got. Because uh, even if you checked it yesterday, they get new toys every day, so you know they're going to check it again. Okay, Mars Attacks is great. I love Mars Attacks. I love the toy line, and I love the movie. People shit on the movie. Why do people shit on Mars Attacks? I love that movie. Great movie, great toy line, and they did a toy line based on the movie. God, I wish they did some humans for that line. You know, they did the, I guess the closest human they did was the uh, spy Martian lady. But I wish they did, you know, gave us some of the characters. That would have been great. Just come on. How do we enter to win? Okay. Well, it's going to be hard, but we're going to do it. The owner at Rogue Toys is a great guy. Yeah, he's a really great guy. You've probably seen him on Pawn Stars a couple of times, too. Yeah. Is Rogue Toys today spoon sponsored or something? Rogue Toys is giving away a Death Star to you guys out there. Somebody's going to win a Death Star thanks to the good guys over at Rogue Toys. Chris Cadwell is MI. Yeah, where's Chris? I was wondering where Chris was. That's the one. That's a lot of people. Some people's missing. We got Chris 
Kansas. Drunk 3PO is here. We were just picking on that son of a bitch, and he is here. We're going to give him a rant. We're going to give him. A, he's in a super chat, too. Here you go. You're super. Here you go. Let me have a Daniel sandwich. I got that. I'm going to make it fast. I'm going to find that bird. You are nuts. And that's a conclusion based on facts. That is drunk. We were just making fun of 3PO. We were just making fun of those. Uh, let's go back over here to these two. Oh, uh-huh, junk guys. man. Don't what's know up? What the hell? <laughs> what up, junk man? You got suspended. Hell is a junk My man. favorite troll. They're like, uh, what junk the man hell used to love these guys to give drunk to us? hell on Twitter, <laughs> but suspended. <laughs> I know, I know. And we were talking about no idea why, but it was fun. Twitter didn't even Here is $5. Tweet. Share it. They don't understand. You know, it. Oh, what the hell's wrong? Look at it. If you go to one of the junk men, they're trying their best to. Hey man, he trolls all my friends on his life. In disgust. <laughs> I remember. That's okay. I'm your oh shit. Nah, that's okay. I'm, I'm used to having that look. Girls giving a look when they talk about the junk man. So have a good one, junk. Thank you, junk three PO. I'm gonna go on his live stream. He hadn't invited me, but I'm just gonna bust in there one day. Uh, Brian Dillingham. I like that last. I like that in Dillingham. Sounds like a a gunslinger or something. He sent a super chat. He's gonna get himself a random soundboard. Ding dong, the witch has flipped. <laughs> Ding dong, the witch has flipped. I love that. Let's go over the 10 questions. So you can win a Death Star playset provided by Rogue Toys. Did you know Rogue Toys every day? Every day they get new inventory. Uh, did you know that? Rogue Toys gets new inventory every day. And if you spend over $50, over $50, that's all, over $50. I mean, almost anything you buy is going to be over $50. If you buy something cool, over $50, it's free shipping. And not only that... Through there, you can get Rogue Credit and earn $50. Get a $50 gift card through Rogue Credits. Man, that is amazing right there. So here's the 10 questions. I'm probably going to go through these. You're like, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with junk, man. But I'm going to copy and paste these into the description. So you will be able to go back. Again, you don't have to get all 10 right to win the Death Star playset. But I'm going to take the ones that get all 10 right. They're going to go into a pile. If 10 got it right. So, it's not going to be the first one. It's going to be random. A random drawing. Just just keep it in the U.S. Sorry, I don't... Uh, we're going to have to keep this in the U.S. Sorry, guys. I'm not... Sh- we're not mailing anything to Bangladesh. So, oh, man. I don't hate anyone, bro. Oh, man. Drunk 3PO. Who's he talking about? Hold on here. Who said Drunk 3PO hate somebody? Uh, drunk can't stand you. He hates you. I don't know what he's talking about. No matter what, I'm happy to see people have success here. Yeah, man, drunk 3PO, man, that's a good guy, man. Ain't got nothing against, man, I ain't got nothing against no drunk 3PO. He don't hate me. I don't hate him. I don't know. I pick on some of these Phantom Menace guys, and it's all out of fucking just having fun. Okay? I don't care if you're a Raylo. I don't care if you're a Phantom Menace. I don't care if you're a Kathleen Kennedy butt licker. I don't care what you are. We're just here to have fun. And if, you know, I get, I, if 3PO's channel does good, hey, Maybe mine comes up in the recommendation and the recommended, and then I do good. Maybe his comes up in my recommend. We all do good. We're all having fun here. It's all about having fun. And just Zitz guy, just Zitz guy sent. Let's give him. He sent us. He sent a little cartridge yelling up and down. Let's give him a random sound. Let's give him a random sound. Good morning, Mr. Breakfast. Okay, let's get back to these 10 questions here. Again, if you're not a fan of the junk room, you might not know these. And again, I'm going to copy and paste the questions on description of the video after the video getting trolled by junk man is a badge of honor that is true there he see he knows it he knows it okay number 10 what is the name of the alien that tells jokes on the junk man channel what is okay don't say it in the chat room all these answers have to be sent to junkman at junkman.com what is the name of the alien that tells dirty jokes okay number nine junk mills Junk man's female crush when he was a kid. What was her name? What was her name? Does anyone know out there? And again, I'm going to cut and paste these so you can uh, see them better. Number eight. Before, but part of being on the live stream is you get early access to think about these. Be, number eight. Before being in the junk room, videos were first made where? Where was it? Before it was in the junk room, it was in the junk something else. Where was it? Oh, let's check over here and see here. Junk 3PO still here? He is. I don't know why he called himself Junk 3PO. I hadn't figured that one out yet. I just came up here with your videos a couple of months ago. I love you. Oh, I love them. They don't love me. Thank you and great. You seem... You have a sense of humor. That's top notch. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But thank you anyway. 
Linda Carter. Someone said Linda Carter. Okay, where are we at? Number seven. What is the collector seal logo on the junk man's hat from? I call this the collector seal. It's the junk man logo, but it's taken somewhere. What's it taken from? Okay, number seven. What is Jumpman's favorite British television sci-fi series? He doesn't watch Doctor Who. No, I do not watch Doctor Who. I call it Doctor Who gives a shit. So, what science fiction show from the, from Brit, British science fiction show do I love? Number seven. Number five. Sorry, Jumpman reads crazy ads that are posted on Facebook or Craigslist. Which one is it? I do a series of videos where I show crazy Star Wars ads. Is it stuff that's posted on Facebook or Craigslist? Uh, number four, Jumpman's Wampa co-host on the action figure show is named, what's the name of the Wampa co-host on the action figure show? He's been on the show on other things too. Um, okay, don't answer in the chat room. You answer in the chat room, you're giving other people the answer to go mail it in and win a Death Star playset thanks to Rogue Toys. So don't answer in, you're answering in the room, you're just giving away answers. Uh, number three, what color is the tall snaggletooth released by Kenner? What color was the tall snaggletooth Kenner action figure? Number two, before the channel was called the Junk Man, well, that Junk Man, what was it called? What was his channel called in the early days before we called it that Junk Man? What was the channel called? I gave you a little hint at the beginning of this video if you were here when the stream started. Uh, number two, oh no, that's not, that was number two. Number one. Here's the last one, guys. Remember, email the answers to, junk, to junkman at thatjunkman.com. Then Rogue One's going to send you a loose, about a 90%. Uh, about a 90% complete. We're going to look at pictures of that. Uh, hold on. Before I read number one, let me pull up images of... Now, again, I'm going to put the... Uh, hold on, guys. I'm going to put the questions up on the uh, description of this video after this, after everything, but I'm going to pull up pictures of the Death Star that we're giving away. I meant to have these ready and I forgot. So give me just one second here. Oh man, these are huge photos. Hold on. Oh God. Jeez. I got one more question to read too, so don't leave the room yet. Got one more question to go. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. That's the Death Star we're giving away right there. That is it. That's the one we're giving away. Let's see. Sorry, the picture. I should have changed the picture some. That's the Death Star we're giving away thanks to Rogue Toys. Did you know Rogue Toys got merchandise, new inventory every day? And if you bought, if you bought something for over $50, you get free shipping. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Again, don't, don't. Give the answers in the chat room, guys. Me Email all your answers to thatjunkman.com. You don't have to be first. This one isn't about first. You don't even have to get all 10 right. 10, if you get all 10 right, that makes your chances to win easier. But number one question, who is the gangster of the Junkman channel? I know I look like a gangster, but I'm not. I'm not the gangster. I look like the gangster, but I'm not the gangster. So, there you go. 10 questions. Email your answers to thatjunkman.com. And you could win a Death Star playset. Again, you don't have to answer all 10 right, but it increases your chances to win the Death Star playset that Road Toys in Las Vegas is giving away. Yeah, the guys from Pawn Stars that come in there, they're giving it away. They're helping me out here. And did you know they have new inventory every day? You went to the website today and you're like, I don't see anything I want. Come back tomorrow, might be something you want. And if you spend more than $50, free shipping. And you can get $50 gift cards in their Rogue credit, in their Rogue a credit system man it's crazy i don't even know how it works so crazy there congratulations on twenty thousand subs but that's it right there that's the questions again i'm going to post the questions in the description below i'm going to let it run for a couple of days i'm going to let some people that didn't make it to the live stream also get a chance to win so if you're not here you still get a chance uh let's just go through them really quick again what's the name of the alien that tells dirty jokes jump man's female crush is a girl named blank before the before being in the jump room, the videos were filmed where? What is the collector seal on the, on the hat? Oh, uh, what is the favorite? What is Jumpman's favorite British television show? Science fiction. Jumpman reads crazy ass posters on Facebook or Craigslist. Which one is it? Jumpman's Wampa host is named. What color is the tall Kenner star? Was the how was the color of the tall Kenner snaggletooth? Before the channel was named Jumpman, it was called what? And who is the gangster of the Junkman channel? There you go. Can you believe it? 
All you got to do is answer those questions for a chance to win. And again, you don't have to get all 10 right. Just it's going to increase your chances. Uh, you might get one right, and you might just get lucky and win. But I just wanted to make sure that whoever won this thing, because that's an impressive... I mean, look, at that's an impressive thing right there, that Death Star. I don't know if you've ever... Let me move this mic so you can see it. Look at that. Shit, that's an impressive playset right there. Hey, Jeff, popping, though. Yeah, I'm popping because I'm giving away a Death Star playset thanks to Rogue Toys, who has new inventory every single day. Oh, Jenner Custom Toys. I keep thinking that's Kenner. My mind wants to say Kenner when I read that. Congratulations on 20,000 subs. He sends a super chat, so he's going to get himself a random super chat. Uh, let's go. I like to make werewolf movies. Yes, he is really happy that he likes to make werewolf movies. Uh, do you have shares in Rogue Toys? I don't have shares in Rogue Toys. I should. I just good friends with Rogue Toys, and they're giving away a Death Star playset because uh, they want to celebrate with me. They are the sponsor of the giveaway. They are the sponsor, but even if they weren't the sponsors, I would tell you how great Rogue Toys are. Oh man. What do they get? What days do they get new inventory? Every day they get new inventory. Can you believe it? Uh, if you're, let's come. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I, again, super chats. Make sure I see them. But let's just go over here. And see, original parts. Yeah, original parts is not a hundred percent complete. So don't come bitching at me when it's not. I know it's missing some of the stickers. It's got all the cardboard. That's good. And it's got everything to make it look good on a display. That one's not. You see that one back there is not even. 100%. It's missing that little ball chain, the rocket launcher. I mean, the cannon don't stay up good, but other than that. Let's check over here and see. How about a PAL Toys Death Star? Hey, I get me a PAL. I don't even have a PAL Toys Death Star. Yeah, I bet y'all give me one. I I give y'all a Death Star, y'all give me a PAL Toys one. How about that? Keep the Death Star. Just send me a swinging rope. I do need the rope for that. Uh, but it's, I don't even remember having the rope as a kid. I must have lost that thing pretty damn fast. Um... How many proofs of purchases do I need to, to win? That's why I should have sent in a proof of purchase. That would have been good. Uh, that's no moon. That's no moon. No, that's right. It's a play set. Shark Mark said that. Mark also, another Mark said Will Smith. I don't know what he's talking about that. Uh, Gregory says, congratulations on 20,000. Thank you so much. Subozaru, however you say it, says Jabba the Jump. That would be a good name uh, for a channel. What's the original foam trash in the baggie? Was that original? I don't know. I, I know I got my original foam in a Ziploc bag. I have to double check. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy is the biggest Star Wars gangster. That's true. She is a gangster. Uh, you were a gangster when you dressed up like Chuck Wendig. This guy remembers me dressing up like Chuck Wendig. Now that's that's going deep right there. Ah. Huh. Uh, let's see here. I have uh, Mark Star Wars Great Again. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Did I say Mark? Make Star Wars Great Again. Star Wars is always great. And Star Wars is always bad. There's always bad Star Wars. There's always good Star Wars. You had Star Wars. Then you had the holiday special. You had Star Wars. And then you had the Ewok movies. Ugh. And you had Star Wars. Then you had the Droids cartoon. Ugh. You had Star Wars. Then you had the... Ewok cartoon, Ugh. and then you had Ewoks on Ice, yeah, 1985, Star Wars Ewoks on Ice, Ugh. and then, you know, and then you had the prequels, The Phantom Menace, Ugh. and then you had Attack of the Clones, which I like a little better, and then you had Revenge of the Sith, uh, it's okay, <sighs> then you had Force Awakens, was great, then you had Last Jedi, Ugh. okay, Star Wars, some people like them, some people, I mean, they're, they're good, they're bad, they're just Star Wars. Anyway, make Star Wars great again. I have two complete Death Stars. Got them in 1996 Chicago Comic Con for $20. $20. Damn, that's a good deal right there. Oh, man. Jimmy says, you have an awesome channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. The worst is I hope I just, I hope I can win a, t I hope I can win the t-shirt. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Does it have the trash compactor? I don't believe, it doesn't have the monster in the trash compactor. But I tell you, whoever wins the Death Star, Email me when you get it, and I will buy you the Trash Monster. In fact, there's another guy out there that was going to give him a Trash Monster, and I lost his email address. But I, I, So if, you, if you're that guy, let me know that also. Star Wars fan films are good. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad, just like Star Wars. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. I've seen some really great fan films and some really bad ones. Um, the Ewok gave Wilford Brimley diabetes. Yeah, maybe they did. 
Uh, you're right. It's all great. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's all great. Depends on who you ask. Some things are bad. Some things are good. But hey, we are all love Star Wars. The way I look at it, if I don't like it, I'm not going to. I don't like Clone Wars. So I don't make videos about Clone Wars. Uh... I mean, every once in a while I'll talk about some stuff I don't like, but for the most part, I'd rather talk about the Star Wars I love, the originals. I like the prequels. I don't do much about them. Hey, we got a congratulations on 20 subs from Dublin, Ireland. Thank you so much. God, I can't believe somebody from Dublin, Ireland. It's probably, he's probably like, I can't understand this Southern hick at all. But he sent me a super chat. Not really sure what that amount is, that little symbol and everything, but he's going to get himself a super random chat. Let's give him a random one. Let's see. I always say it's random, and it's one we heard a hundred times before. Let's see here. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Ooh. And I'm going to give him one more just because I want to play this one. You think all Indians are the same? All Latinos the same? All Chinese the same? No. Indians are the same either. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. T. What we, we have 55 minutes. We got about five minutes. I don't, I don't know how people do two and three hour chats. Where's 3PO? Where's that junk 3PO? I got to ask him, how the hell? Let's see if those girls still look disgusted over here. Yeah, look at them. Oh, uh, junk man. How what's 3PO up, here, but he's also here. Look at <laughs> what up, I junk saw man? you got suspended. Oh, look at him. There My favorite David. troll. <laughs> uh, junk man Come used on. to love to give drunk hell on Twitter, but suspended now. I know, I know. Well, no at idea least why, I'll but give it was fun. At least they're Here's... not trying to press their boobies out to talk about toys or video games to get attention. I give them that one. But they don't look like, they're like, oh, I don't want to talk about this junk, man. Let's talk about something that matters. Let's talk about Kathleen Kennedy is the devil. I don't even know who they are. I shouldn't pick. I'm just having fun, girls. I don't know. I doubt they're watching this, but I'm just having fun, girls. I, I, I ain't. Just have... Fight the frizzies. Oh my God! I made a shirt that says "Fight the Frizzies." I don't think I sold one of them. I've got to get that sound clip. Thank you. Who said that, Frank? Thank you, Frank. I'm not. I don't got anything else to give away. Well, Frank, uh, I don't got anything else to give away. But I'm gonna give away. I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you this right here. You are nuts, and that's a conclusion based on facts. That is a conclusion based on facts that you are a nut. Thank you. Fight the Frizzies. Drunk gets junk man on your channel. Junk, yeah, junk, yeah. Three PO. Get me on your channel, man. I don't get on a channel whore. I've asked you about three times. The revolution. Uh, oh. Oh, is he talking? I don't know. He's here. He, the, uh, the drunk 3 PO likes to pop in and pop out really fast. Um, Jump man, the holiday special. Yeah, fight the frizzies. Man, I, I put that on a shirt. I'm going to buy that shirt. I want it for myself. But I was like, nobody's going to get this one. I like the obscure shirts like that. Nobody's going to get but a few of us. And let me ask you this, guys. So that watch the channel. Would you like more merchandise that's junk man related? I always feel odd. I mean, nobody wants to walk around with a shirt that says junk man on it. But maybe I'll do more shirts related to my brand. Maybe more with a collector seal. Let me know if you want more of those. Because usually my shirts are like toys and stuff related. Junk man, I love to get more action figure t-shirts. Yeah, I do need more. Lucas needs to start. Lucas Films needs to start taking them off. But I need to do more of them. It's hard to find good, good pictures of the figures that's big enough. That they don't look grainy and cut out uh, to put on those shirts. I try to take myself some with the figures I got. It never comes out good. Um, we got another super chat from Wizard. Wizard Wiz made the original trilogy. Be with you, Junk Man. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Let's give him a. Let's give him a random. Here goes. Whenever you take the notion to, I don't aim to put you out none. Well, that's a little short one. Let's give him another. Let's see. I'm not going to do a random. I'm going to look and see here. I think I've done played about it. I don't want to give him that one. Here here we go. This is for you. Does anybody know what that fucker's saying? Anybody know what that's from? Anybody even know what that's from? I doubt it. I don't know how hard you can hear that. Maybe a keychain. Oh, keychain be cool. I've been thinking about getting a 3D printer. Maybe I can... Oh, God, we got another Super Chat. How am I going to end the show if we're getting Super Chats? I'm not. Jumpman action figure, please. That Well, who wouldn't want a Jumpman action figure? And here's your random sound board. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, can we get a gender... Jordy shirt, G R O D E. What is that? What is that? You lost me on that one. Uh, yeah, I love that intro. Says Kenner Custom Toys. 
Lumpy Baca shirt. I was working on a Larry the Wampa shirt and maybe some others. But it's, uh, have a shirt with your face saying, yes, it's that junk, man. I don't know anybody would walk around with it on my shirt, with me on their shirt. You need to do another treasure hunt for figures buried in the woods. Well, that's hard to do. Now, me and my brother, my brother swears that he buried behind my grandma's house a box of Star Wars figures that has a vinyl cape jaw in it. Or maybe it did. Uh, but we can't find it. And then my grandma, my grandparents passed away well they moved and then they passed away somebody else lives there it's on someone else's property so i doubt i'll be able to dig that up uh we've looked and looked for it before they moved though larry wampa for president t-shirt that would be a good i want one of us larry wampa it looks like an old iron logo from the 70s and i hadn't been good i've been trying to make that and it never comes out right i need to get somebody to make one for me jump man should do a price jump man should do a price guide on vintage star wars well i thought about doing something like a price guide like that but the prices change so much hard best thing is just go to whatever you want go to ebay look at sold don't look at listings look at sold and kind of uh go from there okay t for two sent me one eleven thirty eight. i i get that reference i see what you're doing there thank you t for check out the terminators t for two's terminator channel if you're in the terminator you gotta check it out it's awesome uh, Sanford Arms t-shirt. I do like that. Very good. I like that one. Congratulations, Jumpman, and thanks for inspiring me to start my own show. I didn't know. That's great. I need to have him on the channel. If you ever get half, if I ever get half as many subs as you do, I'll be thrilled. Well, I bet, I predict next year, this time, you'll have more than me. I bet you you have more than me. Let's give him a random super chat. Let's see, random. Let's just do random here. Let's... You big dummy. Yeah, you're not a big dummy, but I'm going to send that out to you anyway. A Sanford arm shirt. I, I, I need to do a Regal Beagle shirt. Anyone remember the Regal Beagle? I'm sure you do. Wampa, wampa, wampa. I, I, that'd be a good one. The Wampa toy, and it says Wampa, wampa, wampa on it. Who said that? Tweet, tweet, Twitter trash. I have to steal yours. I like that. Do you like repo stuff? Who is asking me about? I don't like repo stuff. I hate repo stuff. But again, if you buy it, that's fine. Like if you buy an autograph poster that's with fake autographs on it and you happy, you hang it up, good. If you buy fake weapons and you put them with your Star Wars, with your fake Star Wars figures, if it makes you happy, do it. Just don't sell it as real. Make sure, mark it before you die so it don't get sold as real and I have no problem with you. Uh, we need a shirt with the... Oh, Jeter, that rock, that new Star Wars rock. Okay, I'm not going nowhere near that stupid rock. Open up, it's RF shirt. Heck, heck yeah, the Wampa. Yeah, I like that one. I'm still that. Whoever said that one. No Bozo? You don't want a Bozo? You got a problem with no Bozo shirt? You got a problem with Bozo the Clown? What you want, an Eric the Clown shirt? Oh, God, I don't know who's going to get that. Hey, I just wanted to stop by and say, hey, I love your channel. Thank you, little Quaker Star. I cannot read, sorry. He loves my channel, man. Thank you. And thank you again for everybody helping me get to a 2,000 subs. And hey, become a member, Patreon, YouTube member. If I get just $2 from 500 people, man, that helped me out a lot. Because work told me not to come back. So I'm trying to take this full time. That's why you've been seeing more live streams lately. But let me know. Say, so Jumpman, you're doing too much. I can't keep up. This shit's crazy. Go back to one video a day. Jumpman, the movie. No one. There's a Jumpman movie. Well, Oh, shit, it's way about there. Junkman the movie. There's a movie called Junkman. I want to get the poster for it and hang it up over here. Whew, I'm going to go play some Pac-Man. Anybody want to watch me live stream playing Miss Pac-Man? I might have to do that soon. I might do a live stream hunting for Star Wars maybe tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Or maybe Saturday where I can go to the uh, flea market. They never have shit there, though. That Junkman shirt written in Indiana Jones font. Hmm, not to look into seeing that. Let's see about that. I don't know who would wear a Jumpman shirt. But look at this shirt right here. Jumpmanmerch.com. Chase cruising down the street in my sixth foe. I don't know if I sold any of these. I bought, I'll be honest, I made this one for myself. Oh, I'm buying I like that one. Let's send Jumpman to Disneyland and film it. Go ahead, send me there. Where Disney, which one's in Orlando? Disneyland or Disney World? Land, I think. It's only about a six, seven hour drive. I wrote them an email trying to get free tickets, past tickets, and never heard back. What's up with that? The Jumpman Strikes Back. Gendered, neutral, pack only. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't say Miss Pac Man or Mr. Pac Man, I guess, there. Let's hop on and see if I missed any of these here. Join the channel, support the junk, support the junk. Oh, no, there you go. Hey, I just wanted to stop by and say, hey, love your channel. I read that one already. 
you know, read that super chat again. Uh, the Turkish Star Wars shirt would be great. Hmm. It would, I think I looked at doing something about the Turkish Star Wars one time. I couldn't find, I'm not good at making images. I gotta get somebody to help me with shirts some more. Regal Beagle from Three's Company. But it's hard to get somebody. I know, like, hey man, you design the shirt, I'll give you half of the profit. But I only make two dollars per shirt, so it's hard to give somebody a profit. I'm, a, you know. But hey, if you go to jumpmanmerch.com and you buy something from that website that's not my shirt, I still get a commission on that. So hey, it helps out a lot, guys. And any money I make from the channel always goes back into the channel. It makes it. If you didn't notice, I got a good camera right here. And I want to say a big, big thank you for the guys that helped out with my son's back surgery on the GoFundMe. That really meant a lot. Really helped out a lot. I know you think it's a jump man's got a new camera. He's got fucking new lights. That's probably what he used the money on. But I didn't. It went into those bills. I mean, his bills were, uh, before before insurance, it was $300,000. But we're, it, your money has helped out a lot with that. But don't worry. The camera and stuff like that came from uh, money I've been saving from... Uh, doing patreon and everything from the channel so <laughs> what do you think hey man what did we just buy this guy but no it really means a lot to me you guys that helped out with that gofundme uh i like when you talk to super collectors okay yeah but i need to do more with i want to go to more collectors and look at their stuff uh i think that'd be really great how's he doing by the way he's doing really good he's almost i think he's gonna start back school week well i think next week they're on uh spring break and then he's finally going to get back to school he's been doing some online school but he's almost back to normal to me I mean, he's walking and now he's going to physical therapy working out some kinks other than that he's doing really good oh but he's got a lot of pins in his back and now he's a lot taller he's taller than he's 15 and he's tall as i am but i'm wider so yeah he might be taller but i'm wider so hey what that will count, right? Hope the junk kid's doing well. He's doing really good. How's your son doing? He's doing really. Thank you guys. He's doing really good, and it really helped out. It put a lot of stress off, also for that. So thank you guys for the GoFundMe. Really, I didn't think I was gonna get anywhere close to what I got. I couldn't believe it, and it's really good because my ex-wife, you know, she's like, "Them nerds ain't gonna do nothing," and she started her own. You know, we're friends and family. GoFundMe. I wiped her out on the first day. Not that it was a competition or anything, but I want to say, hey. Nerds support nerds, man. Geeks support geeks, right? I don't like using nerds. I like using geek. Uh, do you want to adventure people, adventure people in Big Jim? I've looked into adventure people some. Now, I don't really do like reviews, so i got to find a new angle to talk about them. Like when I do G.I. Joe, I've done a few of those, but it's usually about the story about a certain figure. Because uh, I don't like, I mean, I do some reviews, I guess, but mostly it's like I want to do a scalper's got a scalp. That's a shirt we need. Uh, scalp. Who would get that? Scalpers need a scalp. I forgot about that. We got another chat. We are way past an hour here. We got another chat here from Brandon Brad. Brandon Brian says, "Have you ever done a review of the Adventures of Buckaroo of ah, Have you ever done a, event, uh, a review of the Adventures of Briscoe County Junior? I hadn't seen that in years. Always wanted a toy line from that show. Man, I forgot all about that show." I usually do some TV reviews, and they don't really do good, so I've been steering away from them. It's thundering. Well, at least that guy stopped with his car now. But uh, TV show reviews, I mean, I did a last episode of Magnum Review did, I think, but uh, I know I've done... Uh, Blake 7 really took off. That one's really done well, so maybe I can't say them all, but I did like... Uh, what was the 70s show about the robot I did? Man, what was that? I'm drawing a blank on that. Drawing a blank on that. Uh, they didn't do too well. How the heck do you get <laughs> Buckaroo Bonzo? I, I can't read, okay? I can't read. How the <laughs> Jumpman from the makers of Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, Jumpman, the movie. The, is, yeah, from the makers of Gone in 60 Seconds. The original, right? Do you remember Amazing Stories? Yeah, it's kind of like a Twilight Zone by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, more shows on your neighbor trying to start his car. That was good. I should have went out there with a the camera. But hey, dude, don't you know the junk man's live? Uh, let's see, guys. Okay, more shows on your neighbor. You need to do Riptide episode where they have trading cards and comics. Man, Riptide. I love Riptide, man. They never show that. Why can't Netflix put on some Riptide? Amazing stories were awesome. Yeah, I remember watching it as a kid. That and Unsolved Mysteries I really love. Can you look into Stompers 4x4? 
I'll have to look into that. I don't know. Be nice to do some more videos that's not action figure related. Uh, I know a guy who bought the Riptide boat after the show. Sh what? Hey, you know a guy that owned the Riptide boat? Holmes and Yo-Yo. Thank you. Ugh. Thank you, Kevin. That was it. Simon and... The guy knows a guy that has the Riptide boat. That's crazy. Simon and Simon. That's awesome. Love Simon and Simon. I will need to show more of that. Remember the time Simon and Simon was on Magnum P.I.? Without a doubt, I went to heaven. Uh, I love the smash. I love the smash that like video. Is that the 3 a.m. challenge? Oh, man, my son, we watched 3 a.m. challenge. It's 3 a.m. bought something from the, if you've never seen those, like J-Station, I tell you, if you don't know who J-Station is, go to YouTube, watch him, and you'll you'll come back and cuss me out. It is horrible. But it gets like a million views. Uh, they do this thing, too, where they call, they'll call like a video game at 3 a.m. on their phone. So I've been thinking about doing a parody of that. You know, I call Luke Skywalker at 3 a.m. on my phone, and this happened. I thought that might be fun to do. Evil Knievel stunt toy. Oh, that stunt car cycle. I, I told them they were going to send me a free one. They brought that back out. They was going to send me one to review. I wanted to do it, man. They never did send it to me like they said it was. I guess I could just buy one and stop being a cheap ass. I want a Riptide robot to fight the Rocky Road. That'd be a good fight. See them two fight each other. Did I hear they were going to re-release the Rocky movie and take the robot out? Did I hear that right? Did you watch Jake and the Fat Man? Jake and the Fat Man. Yeah, I watched Jake and it had the guy Riptide was on it too. Perry King, is that who that was? Perry King was Perry King the other guy. Uh, can you do the best <laughs> Buford T Justice impression? Um, okay, okay. I'm gonna try to do a Buford T. I'm gonna do when he's trying to get a sandwich. Let me see here. Pepper, pepper, and I'm in a real goddamn hurry. Okay, that's the best I could do for you. Uh, you need to do a challenge where fans make a custom Junkman action figure. Yeah, I need to do that. That would be awesome. TJ Hooker says, Tweak or Trash, Twitter Trash. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Love TJ Hooker, man. Joe Penny. That's right, Joe Penny. The other guy must have been. Who'd I say? I never got who. Uh, Perry King must have been the other guy. Oh, Perry King. Perry King was on something. Perry. Scarecrow and Mrs. King. That was Perry King. You're right, man. I'm all screwed up. Heart to heart shirt, please. Cooter. Cooter's Garage. I need that. That'd be awesome. It was Joe Penny. Perry King was on the other guy. Okay, okay. Joe Penny. Nice, nice, nice. Square pegs. Ashley. There's Ashley. It was one earlier where Ashley was. We're about done here because, uh, I mean, we're already an hour over, and uh, I don't know. Let me let me get something to freshen the tongue. A Falcon Crest T-shirt. Okay, y'all are just going. A Tales of the Gold Monkey. I got, I got a Tales of the Gold Monkey shirt. That was a good show. I wonder if that holds up. Man, you don't see that guy for the place Tales of the Gold Monkey. You don't see him in anything anymore. You know that. It's like, I don't never see him. I don't see the guy. Who's that guy you see all the time? The principal on Ferris Bueller. I never see him anymore either. I don't know what's, what's up with that. A Falcon's Crest shirt. Yeah, okay. Y'all just pulling my list. Sledgehammer. That's an old one. Oh, maybe we need a new uh, talk about old TV shows. Maybe we'll talk about old TV shoes. TV shoes. <laughs> maybe we'll talk about old TV shows tomorrow, 11 o'clock a.m. on Pop Culture in the Morning gonna be a lot of fun if it, if i was eastern time i would have been on time ashley ashley hey don't care as long as you're here right you can't come here every time chris has arrived why is everybody arrived? why is ashley and chris and everybody coming in late at the end of the show they're usually one of the first ones here but hey everybody gets everybody has a life hey maybe chris was the one trying to start his car maybe that's why he wasn't here old tv shoes please yeah let's do a video on old tv shoes uh <laughs> Joe, Joe, I know, Joe. I'm not going to read that, Joe, because it's, for all those that's not reading the chat, Joe got it. Joe got the joke. He died. One is in jail. Buck Rogers of the 25th century. I actually like Buck Rogers of the 22nd century the best. Uh, it's called both of them were shamed. And they're like, <laughs> okay, you got it. Y'all are getting the joke out there. Looking for tomorrow morning show. That's right, tomorrow morning. Pop culture in the morning. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying that new show, week daily show. Hope you enjoy that. Shard Jumpman was shoveling. 
We got 36 inches of snow. Man, we get half an inch and we shut down the whole damn town and everything. But it's okay, Jeff. It happens. Can't be here all the time. Uh, Stephen Collins was on, yeah, Star Trek The Motion Picture. He was in that also. And he also was on Always Sunny. I love Always Sunny. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I need to do a TV review of Freaks and Geeks. I think I'm going to work on that. I don't know if you guys like Freaks and Geeks. I love that show. Man, who said Jason of Star Command? Subzaro. Sir, 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 eh, Sir Bizarre. Thunder. The gods are telling me to get out of here. Okay, guys. We're going to get out of here morning before and after Crowder. You got, Hey, got to watch Crowder, right? I've watched him a couple of times. He's entertaining. Um, a twerky t-shirt. Toy, that little robot from back to the future. That would be good. From, uh, okay, guys. Okay, okay. Ooh, my mouth is killing me here, man. My mouth is so dry. Night Junk Man again. When the Death Star playset thanks to Rogue Toys. You know they get new inventory every single day. Did you know that? And did you know if you bought for over $50, you get free shipping. You buy something for $51, free shipping. You buy something for $50 and one penny, free shipping. That is crazy. But uh, again, the two questions, the 10 questions, not two. The 10 questions to win the Death Star playset will be posted in this video and the other video. I'm going to do another video where I just cut out all this chatter in between. So, look for those questions in the description below in a few minutes. I'm going to have to add it after, the, after this. I had the yearbook DVD set of Freaks and Geeks. That's a cool one to have. I need to get that. Uh, okay, guys. Thank you for your unsolicited testimonial. That's right. I should have asked that question. What are we in the chat with? But, uh. Let's check over. Before we leave, let's check over and see if those girls are still watching the junk man. Yep. Uh -huh, junk man. Junk What's man. up, dude? <laughs> what up, I junk man? I saw you got suspended. My favorite Why? troll. <laughs> no one uh, junk man Why? used to love to give drunk help. But uh, I think that's it, guys. Let's, let's, let's ask this. Hey, hey. What do you think about the junk man channel? Hey, junk man channel popping, though. Thank you. Thank you, junk man channel popping. I got to get this guy on the live stream. I need him to just come over and just sit right here next to me and just say, hey, Junk Man Channel pop. He can say everything's popping. Hey, you're not. Dark. Indiana Jones action figure is popping, though. And whatever I talk about, he just says it's popping. Okay, guys. I'm going to go check this. Kevin's going to go check out Rogue Toys. Check them out. They get new inventory every day. So if, if you don't see nothing you like today, check them out tomorrow. You might see something you like. $50 gets you free shipping. How about that? And you can get a $50 credit, too, for their Rogue Critic. Uh, I don't know. The whole. Group credit thing after show. No, no after show today. So after shows for the Star Wars show. I might start doing after shows for every day of the week. But uh, I got some videos to work on. I got to rinse my mouth out. I got to relax. And I think I'm going to watch a movie. I haven't just sat down and watched a movie all week. So I think I'm going to watch some TV or something. But no after show. Sorry. That's a save. Yeah, if you're a fan of Star Wars Monday, we do an after show uh, for about 30 minutes, and it's really cool, because it's only, like, four or five of us, five of us in, you know, I'm doing it, and there's four or five in the chat, really small group of people, so it's kind of really fun to do, we just mess around, but anyway, thank you guys, thank you again, again, I'm gonna check through the email, see who won the shirts, who won the mug, and, uh, next week, we will announce the winner of the Death Star playset, I'm really excited, guys, to see who won that, but anyway, thank you guys, we will be back with a live stream, live, 8, 11 a.m. in the morning. We're going to do pop culture in the morning. Probably going to do TV shows. Let's take a look at TV shows where I give you news, toys. We're going to we just talk about whatever we want to talk about. See you tomorrow, guys, and videos throughout the week.